Hello everybody out here on YouTube. It is I here with Beautiful Beauty. Going to be talking about a vacuum cleaner today. Going to be doing a little bit of a product review. Just basically talking about this stick vac. I bought this stick vac about three, no, about four weeks ago. About a month ago. I have been absolutely, this is the best stick vac I've ever bought. Love, love, love it. Definitely got to talk about it today. I am here with my beautiful beauty assistant, none other than Mr. Beautiful Delberman Pincher. Okay, okay, so now, um, I have talked on my channel a lot. You guys know that I am absolutely, I am the queen of clean. Okay, I am the queen of clean. I am the queen of vacuums. I have and own several Roombas, and I've done a lot of product reviews on my Roomba vacuum cleaners. I also have the Neato uh, robotic vacuum cleaner as well. I've done a product review out here on my channel talking about that as well. Now, being that I am the queen of clean out here and the queen of vacuums, I love vacuums. I love keeping a clean house. It's just one of those obsessions. I've been that way since I was a kid. Who knows? Okay, so... Um, Anyhow, I've had this for about a month, bought this at Target, I bought it at Target online, Target.com. I will link that up in the down bar below, how much I paid for it, I believe, I want to say it was, it was $215, $216, something like that, and at first, initially, I thought that sounded, quite honestly, a little pricey for a stick vac, but... Being this is the greatest stick vac I have ever really owned or tried, and you guys, I've had a lot. I have had, I have had a lot of stick vacs. I have had every brand imaginable. I have been obsessing over stick vacs since I was maybe 12 years old. Okay, so anyhow, I love this one. First off, my number one reason for loving this is it is cordless. Okay, you charge it up, and it runs off a battery. And you don't have to plug it into a wall outlet. You don't have to muss and fuss or deal with a cord. Because if you're like me, I am busy. I'm a working girl. I'm on the go. I am busy bee. I mean, I am busy. And one extra thing just like that, an extra step of fumbling with a cord, plugging in a cord, you know, uh, dragging a cord from bedroom to bedroom throughout the house, plugging it in different rooms, all that stuff. Uh, dragging it upstairs, dragging it downstairs, you know, uh, cord not reaching, all that, all those issues you run into with cords. Okay, you know, we're living in a, a quick, convenient, um, more readily available, easy society. We want things quick, we want it fast, we want it convenient, and we want it easy, especially if you're like me and you work a lot of hours, and, you know, it's just one added thing that brings convenience and love to my life you know what I mean no cord you guys see this look none 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 no cord to deal with absolutely love it and if I have not said it by now this model is the Bissell Bolt Ion XRT okay like I said I bought it at Target and I will link it up in the down bar below I love 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 it so uh, first off here it has this type of base thing okay you lift it on and off here and yeah that's pretty much it now it doesn't have to charge up very long either and that's the thing it just it charges very quickly i can't tell you how quickly because i haven't technically timed it you know uh minute wise but it charges very quickly i will tell you this i am able to continuously vacuum for anywhere between 40 to 45 minutes and that includes my entire house. Now, granted, when you buy stick vacs, stick vacs are usually used for quick pickups, quick cleanups. They're not really used as the main vacuum or the main source of cleanup throughout your entire house. But I have done it a few times. And, um, you know, because I, I used to vacuum every day, you guys. But honestly, I've tried to give that up. I don't have time to do that every day. I don't even have time to let my Roombas run alone by themselves every day i just i don't have time for that you know because there's always something in the way or on the floor or preventing them from running or all that stuff anyhow what was i saying anyhow point of the matter is it will run 40 to 45 minutes continuously on one charge so i can go upstairs i can go downstairs basically i can get my entire 
house done in 45 minutes. Even though, like I said, stick vacs are initially not your main source of cleanup. They're really an in-between, a quicker pickup. Uh, you know, if you spill something, you make a mess. You know, cereal, whatever. Things happen. Life's happen. This works great for pet hair. I want to point that out. Uh, if you're a dog lover, mm-hmm. Are to we all? Yes. If you are a Doberman lover, a dog lover, if you are a cat lover like I am, we have a big, huge cat. Uh, pet hair, cat hair, dog hair. This really, really, really works well on pet hair, uh, dog hair, cat hair, uh, my hair, human hair. I am Rapunzel. I have a lot of hair. I have long hair, thick hair. I shed a lot. I have a lot of fallout. My hair grows back instantly overnight. So um, literally sometimes I can shed out a lot of hair and I can just shed out um, in the bedroom. And most of my bedrooms have tile flooring and my hair will just, it just falls out, you guys, and it just replenishes, it comes right back. But, uh, I mean, sometimes I can pick up enough hair that I can whip it into a wig and, and be a little wig maker with all the hair that I pick up from the vacuum. But it picks up hair very well. I definitely like that. Uh, you know, it picks up dirt, uh, mud chunks from outside, from outdoors, you know, from the dog going in and out, all that good stuff. I... Um, cannot honestly tell you how it works on carpet because now I use it I have some freestanding rugs throughout my house you know I have some welcome mats and some uh you know uh aerial rugs living room rugs all that good stuff and it picks up very well on those rugs but now carpeting I do not know because I have hardwood flooring and I have tile flooring and I have marble and uh, throughout my house so I don't have any actual per se carpeting so I can't tell you how it works on carpeting but I will tell you it works absolutely beautiful it is the balm it works very well on hard surface flooring and also here this part right here actually detaches and comes off and this acts kind of like um, a little miniature vacuum so to speak almost like a little dust buster thing you know um, I will show you guys all that I'm just loving it. I really am. I definitely highly recommend it. Glad I bought it. This is what it looks like. Okay, let me see. Um, just do a quick demonstration here and just show you um, more how it works. You know, the parts and components. Okay guys, so back at you here, and I just wanted to show really quick here, this is the part that detaches, okay, as you can see, this comes off here, and it looks just like, uh, you know, they used to always call those like dust busters and things like that, and I have the tendency to want to call these dust busters, you know, because, um, when I was a kid growing up, my mom just always said, oh, I'm going to dust buster, you know, and just pick up a real quick mess. So it's just a real quick handheld type of vacuum. And look here, guys, I want you to see, this is what I have picked up here. Look, can you see? Check that out. That is hair. That is pet hair, dog hair, cat hair, human hair. That is a lot of mess there, okay? So hopefully you guys can see that. But... This is what it looks like, and I probably should put this on the floor because I, my, my dog, I mean, he doesn't really hate vacuum cleaners, but he doesn't love them, literally. What dog loves a vacuum cleaner, you know what I mean? He's not really scared of them. He just, yeah, and especially like the Roombas and things like that, those irritate him a little bit. He's not scared. It's more like a nuisance, but I'm just going to show you what it sounds like here. Okay, so you guys can see, I just emptied the little dust and dirt bin here. But you guys can see, basically this is how it comes apart. This piece right here that appears to have some type of filter in here. Uh, it says it's a washable filter. So I'm sure you can also buy replacement filters as well. Going to have to get to that. I've been using this for one month, you guys, and it just, it really it is very dirty. As you can see, I've been using this a lot. I've been loving it. It works great. Okay, so 
See if I can kind of one hand it here if I can and put this back together. <laughs> Sometimes it's so difficult you think, oh my gosh, one hand, huh, not so easy. Not so easy, you guys, not so easy. Okay, so basically the little filter part fits down into the plastic dusk bin. That's how it looks. That's how it goes back together. It's very easy to, you know, put back together or take apart. Well, if you have two hands, you guys. Okay, so there we go. Quick, easy. Basically, it just snaps back together. You come back over here to the unit. And see if I can one hand this. Can I? Can I, guys? Yes, I can. Oh, my. So basically, the little dust buster looking piece, so to speak, it snaps back on here to the main unit. I love it. Let's go ahead and fire this up, show you how this works. Okay, you guys, I just wanted to show you what the bottom of it looks like. This is the brush head of the actual stick vac. This is what it looks like. Uh, basically, my point's proven what I was telling you guys earlier. Um, I shed a lot of hair, have a lot of fallout. I mean, literally, I am Rapunzel. Yes, yes, yes. So as you can see, Real Beautiful Beauty's hair is uh, st basically stuck there and wound around the uh, brush, so to speak. But this is what the brush looks like. I'm going to go ahead and just get um, a pair of scissors right here and just quickly clip this off, remove it, clean it up a little bit. Um, basically typical maintenance anytime you have any type of vacuum cleaner obviously you have to empty them you have to typically do magnets because things always wrap around the brushes and the bristles there's honestly no way around that but you know I don't expect there to be I always maintenance everything that I own you know what I mean so I'm gonna go ahead and get scissors and clip that real quick before I fire it up and show you guys how it sounds or how it works or how it you know operates <laughs> 